How's it going guys? Welcome to a brand new video. In the last video, we went and completed a bunch of clues. Definitely check that video out if you haven't seen it yet. We managed to get this sick, sick fashion scape. I absolutely love it. Gilded plate body, looking rather snazzy if I do say so myself. I had a lot of fun in that last video and I think in this video, what I'm gonna do is just uh, continue grinding towards 25 million Slayer XP. Currently at around 19 million. I'm gonna get a bunch more Clue Scrolls doing that and I really wanna do another Clue Scroll video probably in a week or two once we've got enough clues stocked up to make a really awesome video. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some Slayer gear on and start doing some Slayer tasks. So now that I'm actually uh, looking at my Slayer setup here, I'm realizing I only have 400 Dragon Darts left. I wanna be using range to train Slayer because I do have the Ranging Relic. And since the Blowpipe is the best in slot in terms of range training and Slayer XP, I'm gonna go grind a bit of Orcath so we can get a bunch more Darts going. That way we can make it all the way to 25 mil Slayer XP without having to come to Vorkath in the future. Dart tip, dart tip, dart tip, dart tip. Yeah, we getting cars quick. Yeah, we going to Mars, bitch. Elon Musk and hard kids, I'm reborn. Like Descartes, life was torn till this apartment. The realm of more is my department. These stars just make me hard. Grind and slay your clues and more. Stabbing Vorkath in the heart. I'm a rip his shit apart. Do you think this is a farce? Playing RuneScape in the dark on the daily. I embark to get more GP than the Lord. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, Draconic Visage unlocked on the account, 239 KC. <laughs> That's our first Visage, man. Oh, that is so, so beautiful, dude. Pretty sure that's like an elite task or maybe a master task to uh, make that into a DFS. We are 90 smithing, so we can go ahead and do that. <laughs> that is, I was not expecting to get that. Wow, that is, that is just spectacular. May as well just like do this right now, right? All right, dude, what a great start to the video. Wow, getting the DFS in the first like 10 seconds. Beautiful, smith a dragon fire shield, amazing. 91 smithing, I didn't even see the XP drop there. It must've been pretty good though. And then equip the shield, another 250 points. So that is 500 points, bringing us to a total of 47,640 points to start the video off. There is 300 KC at Vorkath. Pretty sure I'm getting like 60 kills an hour or so. I mean, we're getting like usually around 40, 50 second kills, so. This is gonna go by pretty quick. Not sure how long we're gonna stay here for. I'm kind of enjoying it. It's pretty chill. Gotten like 500 dragon darts so far, so maybe I'll go for another 100, I don't know. Well boys, there is 350 KC. I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop there. We did manage to get quite a few darts. Let's see how much we got. Yeah, 500 dragon darts and 100 rune darts. So that's gonna last us quite a while. So 883 dragon darts in the blowpipe. 883 dragon darts with the Ava's assembler stacked with quick shot means we actually have roughly 42,000 dragon darts. So that is gonna last us probably for like eight hours of consistent firing. There are 6,000 ticks in an hour. You're firing once per tick. So 6,000 times per hour, 98% retention rate. That means you're firing like 120 darts per hour. So roughly seven hours worth of consistent firing. Hey, there's a beautiful whip draw, man. The only other whip drop I got on this account, I actually recorded, but never put in a video because it just didn't quite fit. So just like pretend that this is the first time I ever equipped it and I'm getting the 250 point league task done. Dang, this thing sucks, dude. Oh, hey, this is our first uh, superior abyssal demon. I do not have a natural selection. So these things are quite the oddity. We did get a dust battle staff in the last video from a superior. So maybe we can actually get something useful from this one. Oh, hey, there is a slay 10 superior creatures Hard and elite clue. Perfect. That's fine with me. Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> Dust battle stuff number two. Oh my god. That's like our 12th superior on the game mode, and we've gotten two dust battle staffs, which means we rolled the unique table and didn't get the thing that's like really good. But <laughs> at least we have this as a consolation prize. Ah. <sighs> I just got a moss giant task and like, this is like the best place, dude. Over at Pirate's Cove, locked behind Fremenic, 
There's like 10 of them and it's multi-combat too. So this is like perfect actually. A 119 more Dagonoth. That's gonna be another Dagonoth King's task. I still need to get the kill all Dagonoth Kings 300 times and it might go for the 650, probably not gonna go for the 1000. But they also drop Dagonoth Bones, which is great for prayer. I'm only 95 prayer and they drop hard and elite clues, so it's perfect. A that beautiful orange text is never gonna get old, dude. There is a Berserker Ring. Hey, we just completed a Lord of the Rings. I'm pretty sure that's the first time I've ever done that, now that I'm thinking about it. And here is the last kill the task, man. This task is just so nice. Like, you know, we got the Toad Flag Seeds for Herbler XP, making brews. We got all these nice Dragon Axes, Lord of the Rings, Mud Bile Staff. Pretty much worthless, but you know, nostalgic, nice to get, fun to do. Obviously, the uh, 1 million prayer XP in terms of Dagonoth Bones here, and uh, just some clue scrolls, man. There's just all kinds of stuff going on here. And as well, we're completing the task for getting 300 KC at all these dudes, so there is 60 tasks complete, 360 points total. And I'm just having a good time here, so this is just wonderful. So before we move on to the next task, I have just got a quick little thing I can do here. 16 dragon plate legs, take one of them out, use our dragon ornament kit that we got from that mass clue scroll opening video. If we equip these, I believe it should be, yeah, there is a hard task complete. Those are looking pretty nice, man. Not gonna lie. Oh, that's right. I forgot myth dragons also do drop rune darts poison. You just gotta clean off the poison and then you can uh, use them in the blowpipe. Hey, there's an occult necklace. These uh, smoke double tasks are gonna be pretty nice because they drop hard and elite clues. Plus, uh, you can just like lure a bunch of them AFK. I like to alk while I'm doing it because the auto retaliate just automatically makes the uh, alk zero time. So we're also getting some zero time magic XP too, which is nice. Also, you got all these marantils, which are gonna be really useful for grinding out 99 and eventually 25 mil prayer XP. So I do want to go over that Demonic Throne task, which is a master task. Master League task, 500 points. It does cost 25 mil though. I got all of my Slayer uh, Alcables in the inventory. So I'm going to go ahead and alk all these while I'm on this task here. And I'll let you guys know how much I get. So here is the last kill of the task. Looks like we got around 11 and a half mil in Alks. That's going to be pretty useful for uh, the Demonic Throne and I guess 25 million construction XP. I don't know what else is gonna cost a bunch of money. We could go for the Crystal Crown, which in Thronwind is a master task, 500 league points. Cost 250 mil though. So not sure if that's actually gonna be feasible in any way, shape or form. I guess it's something to strive for. Okay, boys, 125 black demons. We are going back to get our third and fourth Z Knights. Let's fucking go. For the uninitiated, our luck at Demonic Gorillas has been really weird. Four heavy frames, three light frames, three monkey tails, five limbs, two springs. 566 KC, two Z Knights. Z Knight is a one in 100 drop, so I'm not expecting to get a Z Knight in these like 200 demonic skills, but we shall see what happens. Only one way to find out. Dude, <laughs> oh man. Z Knight shard number three, baby. That is so good to see. Oh, I'm gonna go put that straight into an amulet of torture right after this kill, dude. God damn. That was only like 30 kills in. First unique of the task, we get the Z Knight. <laughs> like, oh, amazing. Well, it was nice knowing you, Mr. Fury. I'm pretty sure I used you for about three days there. Oh, that looks kind of cool. I never I remember the unstrung Z Knight amulet looking like that. It's like, it's like a little gem. It's like a little orange pulsing gem. Z Knight enchant. And that is the amulet of torture which means we now pretty much have an effective means to get 25 mil in all of our combat stats, as well as top off 99 defense, which we're gonna get in pretty soon. Speaking of maxing out our combat stats, boys, there is level 99 defense coming in, which means we are pretty much max combat, except for level 95 prayer. I'm pretty sure we have 99 prayer banked, so I'm probably gonna go get 99 prayer after this task is done. I really wanna complete the Z Knight set for that elite league task. Might be a master task. I think it's an elite one though. That'll be an easy 250 points. <laughs> uh, light frame number five, boys. Honestly, I can't be mad. We did get the Z Knight. I was afraid that was gonna be our only unique on this entire task. We only have one kill left in this task. Alas, this amulet of torture is absolutely shredding these guys, so I can't complain. We'll have to come back to get our last Z Knight. Oh, hey, there is level 2200 Dota level coming in at level 96 prayer. Not sure if we have 99 banked, but I'm gonna go ahead and try. I'm pretty sure that means we just unlocked the maximum amount of XP we'll be getting from Equilibrium. I think it probably rounds down. So we'll be getting 10% of 2200 is 220 XP per action from here on out. There is level 98 prayer, which means we just achieved 126 combat boys, max combat, 
Hey. <laughs> there it is, boys. Level 99 prayer. We are now master of the prayer skill. I feel like we just got like a thousand points in the last hour or so. Yeah, we're at 49,000 points at the moment. Pretty happy with that. No complaints here. We are now max combat stats. I guess we start working on the 25 mils now. Pretty close to 25 mil magic, just need about three and a half mil XP to go. And we've been training melee on controlled to get all of our uh, melee stats up to, 90, to 25 mil as well. 25 mil prayer will come pretty passively as we just grind Vorkath a bit. Still have quite a bit of bones left, so I'm just gonna grind these for fun. Good times on the Trailblazer League. All right, boys, another Dagonoth King's task. Let's go. And there is the Dagonoth King's task complete. Nice little 1 million prayer XP and a bunch of clue scrolls. Dude, that's my first ever dark bow I've ever gotten in RuneScape, ever. And if we equip that, that is a hard task complete. It's about time. <laughs> 24 and a half million Slayer XP. We get our first dark bow doing every single dark beast task. <laughs> Hi, I'm Scotty. Sorry, dude. <laughs> That's not your whip, man. Dude. <laughs> hey, dude. 25 million Slayer XP. That is an elite task completed. 250 points. Wow. That is pretty cool, man. That's awesome to see. So we're officially done with the Slayer grind. I'm not going to be continuing to get any more Slayer XP for the sake of Slayer XP, but I'm going to continue because there's about three or four more Slayer related tasks that I want to do. I want to get 100 Slayer tasks complete. I want to kill 20 Superior Slayer monsters. Pretty sure this is our 70th Slayer task and we're at like probably 15 Superior Slayer monsters. And lastly, I want to kill the Cave Kraken, get the Kraken Tentacle so we can make the Abyssal Tentacle, as well as get 500 KC at the uh, Kraken boss. So I'm going to continue training my melee AFK and up to 25 mil combat stats. Hopefully we can get a Kraken task going pretty soon. Alrighty boys, we are going back to Black Demons for our fourth and final Xenite. Let's go. <sighs> Ballista limbs, man. I think that's like our seventh one or so. Oh, the horrid silver lining. A rather discourteous reminder of how dry I am. 750 demonic gorillas. Three Xenites. I would like to be done about now. No, dude. Light frame number six. Come on, man. 12 left in the task. I was really hoping this was going to be the last black demon task, but that seems pretty unlikely now. No. Then the monkey tail on the next kill, dude. Holy shit. Light frame into monkey tail. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me, man. Come on. No. Are you kidding me, dude? Oh, God. Two monkey tails and a light frame in like, what, 12 kills? <laughs> wow. Just wow. For those of you who don't know, monkey tails are 1 in 500, Z Knights 1 in 100. This is like 10 Z Knights worth of RNG just from these monkey tails. Doesn't include the limbs or the light frame. <laughs> wow, dude. There's the task complete. We shall have to return some other day. Starting off the day with a nice looking Abyssal Whip. And one kill later, we get the second Abyssal Whip on the task. Beautiful. Triple Abyssal Whip. Wow. We're at uh, 26 million Slayer XP and we get our first Tazar slash Jad task. I don't think I actually want to do that because I don't have the Slayer Helm, so it wouldn't really be beneficial to do that. I'm still just trying to grind out a Kraken task. That's pretty much the only thing I want at this point. Got to go ahead and skip a few things. I've been doing Abyssal Demon tasks. Yeah, I'll just go do that because it's super quick. Mostly just been doing Abyssal Demon and Smoke Double tasks for these uh, Elite and Hard Clues, because they both have a chance to drop each one at a drop rate of 1 in 20. Somehow I missed the clip for 200 mil range, but there it is, man. Uh, yeah, we maxed out. I've never gotten a 200 mil before. Uh, um, I'll take it, dude. Yeah, man. I mean, Equilibrium is just like super good with the blowpipe. One tick weapon. You're getting a guaranteed 220 XP every tick. 6,000 ticks per hour. What? That's like 1.2 mil an hour just in Equilibrium? I'll take it, dude. Damn. Finally, another chewed bone, dude. I've killed like over 200 of these and that is our second chewed bones. So I guess if we come over to the high scores, it looks like we are forever immortalized at rank number 76 in a temporary game mode. 200 mil range. So rather than storing up a bunch of these chewed bones and doing them all at once for the mega dopamine rush, we actually have a pretty decent chance to get it on just one bone. So I'm going to go ahead and be constructing them every single time that I get them. One in 85 chance for the dragon full helm. That's not totally unfeasible to get in just a few. So let's see if we get lucky. <laughs> oh. 
Wow. <laughs> 229 basilisks. This is our first basilisk task. We're at approaching 30 million Slayer XP, dude. There is a, an elite task to go ahead and get that Night is Not face card. And the drop rate is one fifth of the normal drop rate when you're on task. So I'm going to go do a bunch of basilisks. That's awesome, dude. I was just thinking we weren't ever going to get those. Also, I'm not sure if I included it, but I did go ahead and extend both the basilisks and kraken tasks just in case we do happen to get another kraken task. That's pretty much the only one we need aside from the basilisk task in terms of like finishing off all of these slayer related uh, leak point tasks. So 229 basilisks will give us a decent chance at the... Uh, and that is not face guard. I'm pretty sure it's a 1 in 133. Oh, you know what? I should be using the bracelet of slaughter on this. Why can't I, like, just take the jaw? Like, I can see it right there. If it's a 1 in a 1,000 drop, like, where does it go every 999 other times? Like, can I just take this, man? There is the task complete, boys. Managed to kill just about 300 of them, so we were expected to get it. Around 60% of people would have gotten it in that KC. I'm gonna go see if I can get a back-to-back -back task, and if not, I probably will just not get the jaw because it's totally unfeasible. Yeah, eh, no back-to-back -back task. That's what you love to see. Enhanced Crystal Teleport Seed. That's a one in a thousand drop. Well, one in 300. We were... <laughs> that, that's a hard task to get, dude. So I can't be mad. Just kind of salty that we just got that in like five kills and didn't get the jaw in 300 kills. The jaw is about equally as rare. Oh, well, man. <laughs> I'll take it. 92 tasks complete. Getting pretty close to that 100 task mark where it's just which is where I was planning to stop. I don't know if I'm going to stop there yet. Still need to get a few Kraken tasks. I mean, I don't need to, but it'd be pretty efficient to do that in terms of getting more points. Kind of weird, we still have a thousand Crystal Shards left over from the Corrupted Gauntlet grind where we did like 400 of those. But I'm pretty sure if we come over here, we can sing this guy, craft an Eternal Teleport Crystal, and now we can use this an infinite amount of times so you don't have to worry about carrying around all these... Uh, Teleport crystals. Oh damn, I just realized that also put us at 50,000 total league points. That's pretty, pretty juicy, man. I'll take it. Yes, man. Oh my God. Wow, 178 cave Kraken. Glad I extended those. We are at 32 million Slayer XP and there's our third Kraken task. God damn, that's so good. Finally, dude. All right, boys, there is 300 KC at the cave Kraken. There are two ways that this task could go. We could either get 500 league points or we could get zero. The way that this account is going, I'm expecting to get zero, but we're actually more favored to get 500. I am targeting 500 KC here, currently at 300, so that means we need 200 more. We have 158 left on the task, but we do have a couple of bracelets of slaughter in the inventory here. On average, the bracelet of slaughter will cause you to get 1.25 times whatever amount you have on your task due to the 25% uh, chance to, to proc like it just did right there, which will put us at 498 KC. Oh, this is going to be really close. Obviously, the drop for the Trident, what is that drop rate? One in 133, so we should have already had a couple of those by now. We're probably going to get at this task. I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic, dude. Even if we don't get anything, we're still working towards 25 million magic XP and 25 million defense XP. I kind of want to get it, though. Well, <laughs> Trident of the Seas and an Elite Clue on the same kill. That is our fourth Trident. Uh, maybe our fifth. Pretty sure that's more rare than the Tentacle, so... God, that is slightly painful, but I can't really complain. That's good for runes. Well, thanks, Jagex. Yes, dude. Oh my god, finally. 455 KC. We get the fucking Kraken Tentacle. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. That makes me so happy, man. I was afraid we were going to go this entire task without getting any leak points, but that is a 250 guaranteed leak points when we go back to the bank and make that Abyssal Tentacle. Well, that is nice to see. What is that, like 20 kills later, another Kraken Tentacle? I will take it, dude. Haha! <laughs> Beautiful, man. And there it is, boys. 500 KC at the Kraken boss. <sighs> 250 points, man. Amazing. And here is the moment of truth. I can't remember the last time I did this, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this. There it is, the Abyssal Tentacle. If we go ahead and equip that, there is another 250 points, putting us at 50,540 points. So if you've enjoyed your time here, feel free to let me know by leaving a like. We did get 147 elites and 139 hearts, so I am gonna be working on releasing a new clue video. Hopefully in about a week or so, we'll be able to get like, I don't know, 500 elites, 500 hearts. That sounds like a good goal. According to the last video, only like 10% of you are subscribed, so 
If you want to support me, that is probably the best way to do it. I would really appreciate it. The algorithm would appreciate it too. So with all that said, boys, as always, thanks for watching. Take care. Stay safe out there. Until next time, I love you. Bye. Dart tip. Dart tip. Dart tip. Dart tip. Yeah, we getting cars quick. Yeah, we going to Mars, bitch.